Hello friends and welcome back to House of Props. Today's build is going to feature Thorin's sword, Orcrist. This is another sword from the film series I have wanted for a long time now, so I just decided to make it. I've included a link to the free files in the below description. These files were printed on my Ender 3 Pro. To attach the pieces, I use CA glue on both the pieces and the supports. I have found CA glue to work really well in providing a secure bond on 3D prints. In order to cure the glue almost instantly, I use a drop of zip kicker. This allows me to assemble at a faster rate since I don't have to wait for the glue to dry naturally. While I assemble the rest, go ahead and hit the subscribe and notification buttons so you can see this channel's future projects. Or if you're able to, scan this code to see the channel's previous projects. Once everything is attached, I smooth the surface with a 180 grit sandpaper, mainly focusing on the blade areas since these need to be super smooth. I thought I filmed the next step, but I can't find the footage. I used this glazing and spot putty to fill the cracks where the pieces were joined together. I applied it with a putty knife and allowed it to thoroughly dry, which took about two hours. This putty is toxic, so follow the company's recommended safety directions. When the putty was dry, I used a 400 grit sandpaper to smooth the joints. When it was smooth and excess dust was removed, I coated the surface with a filler primer. This primer can be slightly sanded if you need to. When the primer was dry, I then sprayed the sword with a black gloss spray paint. The black will help accentuate the chrome paint. Now that the black is dry, I'm going to use this mirror chrome spray on the blade, pummel, and handguard. After two coats of the chrome have dried, I base the tooth grip with a tan acrylic. Then using a small round brush and burnt umber, I apply aging into the spots where the tooth meets the metal. I thinned the paint with a little water so I don't end up with brush marks or hard edges. I then used the same paint and brush to create the lines along the length of the tooth. I found that I needed to barely touch the surface of the tooth with the brush to get the best results. After the aging and lines dried, I made a very thin wash with the burnt umber and applied this over the entire tooth. Using a tissue, I would dab away a lot of the paint, but by repeating the process, I was able to build up layers of the wash that helped age the tooth. And then I was able to finally add this sword into my collection. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up, share it with friends and family, and subscribe to House of Props for more amazing content.
And remember, if you are building any of my builds or using any of my templates, feel free and tag me at House of Props on Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok because I would really like to see your fantastic work. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time.